Hello guys, it's Thumper from Financial with Options, and today I'm going to be releasing my options spreadsheet that I use to track my option positions and to quickly get a grasp on all the stuff that's going on in my portfolio. I'm going to put a link under in the video description, and when you click on that, you come to this Google Sheet. What you will do is click File, Make a Copy, then you can rename it, and then that's your version that you can go through and change whatever you want to. So first off, I'm going to go through this options tab, and this is where the meat of the porf this spreadsheet is at. I try to make it simple. When you're filling in the spreadsheet, what you'll be doing is filling in the orange cells. The green cells will calculate automatically. And when you go to put in a new position, what you're going to do is click on the bottom row, copy it by holding Control C or Command C, or you can do edit copy, click on the row below and paste it, command V, control V, or you can click edit paste. So you have a duplicate position. Then what you do is go through and fill in the information for the trade that you're putting on. Uh, BS is just buy or so bought or sold. I usually sell premium. So that's almost always an S for me. Uh, this is just the price of the stock when you put on the contract. So that would be whatever value is in here. So right now plan here is 20.8. I'll put that in if I was making a trade on that right now. And so that's basically how that goes. Uh, we scroll to the right. We have a break even column. If you're doing a roll, it's nice to see what price you have to buy something back at to break even. In this example, Zoom, this is a roll position, my break even. If I buy my contracts back at 405, I'll be at zero. So someplace up there is a Zoom trade where I lost a couple bucks. Uh, column W will just let you know if it's currently in the money or out of the money. Column X, you can hide this if you don't want to by clicking the arrow and click hide column. But if you do want to track probability out of the money, you can put that in. Or you can change this column to whatever you want to. For account, if you have multiple accounts that you're doing trades in, you can use this spreadsheet to see everything in one spot. And what you want to do is label in here what the account is. Because then you can go and filter down by using this. I'll put that in there for now. And over in the left here, there's just kind of two blank columns that you can edit, use if you want to. If you don't want to use these, again, you can hide the columns by clicking that. If you delete the columns, you're going to break other formulas, so don't delete them. Just hide them if you're not going to use them. But it's easier to have these columns in here now in case you want to modify it than to put them in later. So that's why those are in there. Another thing that's useful about this is you can click right here to highlight everything in the spreadsheet. And you can create a filtered view by going to, uh, where is it, view? Data, sorry, data. Create filter view. And then what's I gonna do is put these little green icons in your columns. And if you click on it, you can uncheck stuff that you don't want to see. So if I just want to see contracts that are still open for me, these are all my open contracts. And this column is just hiding it if there's something in this field. I'll pull up these guys back up. And you see, when I put close, this becomes a Y, and that's how I can use this to filter those out quickly. So that's just something neat to know that you can do. And maybe I just want to look at my bought premium, same thing. I could filter out all the way down here, and here's all my long calls that I have. And so that's a very useful feature for Google Sheets that you can use. I'm going to undo these hides. And over on the right, it's just a fun little thing. This will look at your spreadsheet and pull up every ticker that you've played, tell you how many contracts you've done, what's your total profit from doing all those contracts, what your average profit is per leg, and how much you pay on commissions on that. Wow, AT&T, come on, stuff costing so much. So that's neat. If you like that, great. If not, you can always delete the columns or hide them. That's kind of up to you. For me, that's more of like a fun thing to look at because, you know, it's just fun.
I think that covers this tab. So the next one I'm going to look at is premium cooking. This will look at your open contracts and let you know how much premium is expiring that week. As you close positions in your options tab, it'll be subtracted from here. And you just kind of see I'm expected to make, or I have 2,500 cooking this month right now. Between all the positions, I have 9,700 in the works. What I like to try to do is spread out where my premium expires. So I only have to manage a small subset of my portfolio at any given time. Although right now, it seems like 618 is a little heavy for me. <laughs> uh, the next tab here will just show you your monthly realized premium so far. And this is based off that same spreadsheet, but it only looks for closed positions. And when you close your position, make sure you put in the close date. Otherwise, this won't work. So here you see the realized premium. I also have a cell that tells you how much open premium you have. And combined, you see what that would be for the year. So just kind of neat to see. Uh, over here, I'm just going to leave this sheet in. You can delete it if you don't want to. I think it's fun to look at, like, Friday close, take a snapshot of your account size. And then over time, you can just see how you progress. I went from 94,000 to 173. Like, that helps motivate me to continue doing this even after I drop down i look back and a few months ago i was still at like half that position so it's just fun to look at the right here are just referencing cells from here so next month what you want to do is to update it you type in realize premium may or june click the eagle sign go to the quick overview click on the cell and hit enter and then you'll be looking at june here I'll change that back. Uh, this is just a fun little column that's based off of retire with options retirement plan. So his thing was if you start with a account size of zero, put 300 bucks in a month and get a 5% return, you are become a millionaire in nine years. And and I ended up making a spreadsheet for him that he could use for his video series. And a version of that is right here for you to use. When you go to fill this out, start with whatever your account size is currently and put that in here. Choose how much you could contribute every month and then change this percent to whatever you think you can get a month. 5%, I think it's pretty aggressive. If you want to change that to 2%, you can see how long it takes to get to a million. Well, I guess you need more rows, so... Hopefully you get more than 2% or you contribute more than 300 a month and you probably get there fairly quick. Another neat thing about this is given your account size, you can see what your premium goal is to achieve that 5% in that month. Just neat to look at. Some more things in the spreadsheet. Uh, we have the latest version of the poor man covered call sheet in here. This allows you to put in multiple legs in case you need to average down and you end up adding more contracts and everything calculates correctly as far as I know. Uh, down here, this is where you sell your short calls against the position and it'll give you your short strike break even if you were to close out the entire trade. And you know, break even when filling this out or when you're setting up your first set of contracts what you want to do when you do your poor man covered calls is make sure that your first short strike is actually above this break even that's how you set yourself up for a profitable position if the stock goes above your short strike so that's just something to think about after the first time I try to stay above break even even more, but the first time, make sure you're at least at that point. That way, you, you're setting yourself up for a profitable position. I'm going to put that information back in because I want to come back to that in a second. When you go and set up your position, what you want to do is right click the sheet down here, click duplicate, 
And then you rename this whatever you want to name it. So this is the first I'm doing Microsoft. I'll call it Microsoft. In here, change the ticker. Go through and find your leap that you're going to put in and put in the information that you need to. I assume you don't have two contracts here. And then once you sell your strike, put it in here and you see what your adjusted short strike break even is. When doing this, obviously the first time I want to stay above 256 if this was my 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 leap. I'm gonna change this real quick. So well, in the future here. Fix time. So that's how you add your poor man cover calls. Take the sheet that you want to do, duplicate, rename it to whatever you want to do. This will be my first Microsoft cover call, poor man cover call, so I'll just do that. If I'm opening up a second set and I don't want to track in the spreadsheet here, I could do MSFT2. The other thing we have is wheels spreadsheet for when you're selling cover calls against shares. Uh, same spreadsheet, different verbiage in here. You put in how much you, you bought the shares for, how many sets of 100 that you've done. And then down here, you sell your calls against it. You can also track if you're doing puts. Some people like to put their puts in the same document. I personally don't like to link those trades together, but others do. So you can see what your net profit is playing on that ticker during that time. Now I want to head back to the quick overview page and explain what's going on in here. Because we're starting on the left here. This is looking at your option sheet. It's sorting by days till expiration. These are your open positions. It'll let you know what the current status is. Like if you're in the money, it's gonna highlight in red. If you're out of the money, it's just gonna say out of the money, stay white. Uh, your leap positions, if you're buying premium, like it's gonna say currently will be exercise. That's because this is all really made for like selling premium. So if you're buying leaps and you track those, that's why those would come up. and. Don't be alarmed if you see that. And this middle section here, you can make a little spread or a little watch list. So if you do a lot of Netflix plays or whatever plays you're doing over here, you can put in and see what the current price, 52 week low and high are at a glance. Typically, I try to have my tickers be with the same ones I'm playing on so I can quickly see how far away from in the money those are. So. Microsoft, I have a 230 strike. I can see well, I'm 18 bucks away. That's probably safe still. Don't need to think about it beyond that, Frank. Right and the right here is just your option income, little graphical rep representation. Again, fun to look at. This is your realized income. And then down here, what you're going to do is when you make your your uh, cover, your PMCC sheets or your cover call sheets, Type in the sheet name here, and then it's going to pull up the ticker that's in that spreadsheet, and then the last date that you have a call against it, or that you, yeah. What this is trying to do is tell you, oh, hey, in this one, my PMCC for T, my last short has expired. I should go and sell my next short call against it. That way you don't have something sitting there uncapped that you could be selling short calls against. It's just a quick way to say, to see that. And just to show that, here we have Microsoft, it says 620. If we go to the Microsoft one, that is the date of expiration here. I think Coke we have two, so you see we have 219, 612, but it's pulling the 612. So whatever is the last date, that's what's going to be pulling into this spot here. And you can see if it's expired or not. If it has expired, it'll be a red cell. That's your cue to go in and sell your next cover call against that position. Uh, up here, I opened up a Ko-Fi account. I guess if you want to like donate money, you can do that through there. I'm new to that. I'm not exactly sure how all that works, but we'll see. Uh, the bottom cell here, I'm going to put a link to this video so that you can click on it and watch this video if something goes wrong or you need to see how to do something. And with that said, I think 
that covers everything I want to do in this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and have a good day. I am not a financial advisor. Any information included in this video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. It is not intended to be investment advice. Please seek a licensed professional for investment, tax, or legal advice.